Do you guys remember the computer lab from when we were children? Well, today I'm gonna explore some of the games you guys may have forgotten, and if there's anything I missed, you can tell me about it in the comments below. But without wasting any more of your time, let's get into Kid Picks. Okay, guys, here we are on Kid Picks, and uh, I've already had some fun for myself, but if we go to the eraser tool, and then we head up to this, I'm pretty sure this is. Well, now we have a clean slate. All right, let's fill with this color. Let me write my name H. Oh. Oh, ASMR. S. A. Why? Yay. All right. Wait, I have an idea. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Hold on. I need to delete everything. Only the OGs remember this. Oh, yeah. Bam. Ugh. We, we connect these two. These two. Then we go down here. We connect this one to that one. And then we do the same on the top. And then we connect here. Ta -da. You guys remember this? You were cool if you know how to draw this. Hey, what else do they have? What is this truck? Moving van. Oh, what the heck? Oh, ho, 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 ho. What is this? And then we got... All right, we need to reset. What else is there? Yo, wait. Oh, you could just str straight up spawn trees. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh no, my computer's lag. This is like the stamp rubber stamps. Yep, 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 yep. I remember just freaking spamming these. And then that dog smelling that dog's butt. And then that dog smelling and then that dog smelling that. Oh my, you could just straight up draw. Subscribe. Oh, we just made a pride flag. What the heck? Oh, oh. What does this do? Oh, oh my god, dude. What are these kind of animations? It's Oh my god, this is actually kind of advanced. Yeah, and that was most of what Kid Picks has to offer. And I mean, I have a short attention span, but that kept my attention the whole time. I mean, I'm 19 and that was actually still interesting. If you gave this game to the most recent generation, what even is that? Generation Alpha already? I'm pretty sure they would actually be entertained. Maybe a little subway surfers on the side, but hey, they'll be okay. But Kid Picks for me is getting a respectable 9 out of 10 Michael Bay. All right, next up we have Mavis Beacon Teaches Typing. And I mean, guys, I have to come clean. I am absolutely ass at typing. Do you guys remember the computer lab when you would do the typing on either Mavis Beacon or Typing Pal or whatever you guys had? How they would put like the plastic or paper cover over your fingers so you wouldn't see the keys when you typed? Well, I always cheated. I, I I peeked around that and ever since then I have been looking at the keyboard whenever I typed. Okay, but anyways with that prefacing out of the way We are gonna play Mavis Beacon teaches typing and I couldn't find any other version besides this original version from 1987. I mean, I know they released a 2020 version I think but it is $50 and I am not spending $50 on Mavis Beachy Beachy Tika I'm not spending $50 on Mavis Beacon teaches typing. So uh, let's go ahead and we start off with a really hard question Is this T? Um, yes. This lesson shows you the ASDF keys. Just follow the hands as they type the key. Type an A. S D F E. Oh, sh dude, I already messed up. <laughs> Some of those keys trip you up. <laughs> this is made for children and I'm already screwing up. And so this is when I started trying. Let's try some words using the oh, ASDF no. now. This exercise also uses the space bar. Oh no. Bad. Uh, space. Dad. Oh. Honestly, guys, I kind of rage quit here because I didn't want to play anymore. And I don't think you guys want to watch either because it's kind of like a baby learning how to walk. Except babies probably have a faster word per minute than me. Honestly, I might practice off camera and come back with a gigachad number of words per minute. Yeah, this game is just not my thing. But if you guys want to play, links below. Alrighty, Castle Mass 2000. Now, I remember the name of this game, but I don't remember how it actually plays. But let's get into it. Oh, whoa. Okay. Um, We have a mouse here. We need to go into that hole. So I'm assuming we take this cat and scare it that way. Go. There we go. All right. So, oh, this is we put here. Yeah. Let's go. I remember this being a lot harder when I was younger, but with my big brain intellectual prowess, I guess it, it's just easier now. Is that like a donkey? I, I don't know. This is really small. It's going to be zoomed in on your screen, but for me, that, I don't really know what that is. I'm honestly stumped. Wait, what? Oh. So we scare this. Oh, is that a dog? We scare this dog into the cat, which scares the mouse into the. You know what? Screw this. 
We're skipping to the end. Lion, elephant. Okay, so, you, so using my brain and the chain of predators or, or wh whatever it's called, we're, we're going to assume mouse here. We want mouse here. You guys remember when I said this game would be easy? Well, that was a f***ing lie. Skipping straight to level 15 was an oh no idea. I'm pretty sure I don't think I could have solved the level 15 puzzle in a million years because I had the IQ of a lobotomized rat from New York City. So I had to use the solution tool in the end. But hey, I'm just saving my sanity. Okay, here we are on Math Blaster in search of spot. I remember this game very fondly, but uh, let's go ahead and get started. That's my name. Sick. Oh, damn. <laughs> these, <laughs> these sounds are amazing. Spot, prepare for hyperspeed. That does not sound good. Hmm, I wonder what could be wrong. Well, did you check the fuel gauge? Because you probably ran out of fuel again. And it ain't got no gas in it. But prepare to beam out for repairs. Who, me? Nah, I I'm not going to make a hit by a meteor. Come on, dude, poor Spot. Why you gotta do Spot like that? Oh, no. Who is that? Oh, no. Oh, no. He just got abducted. Yeah! Yeah! This is what you get for letting him be out there by himself, man. In search of spot, cause he got abducted, cause this guy's a lazy asshole. Hello again, it's me. <laughs> I, uh, I can't seem to find spot, and there's trash everywhere. Oh, this sounds like the <laughs> that was the longest pause ever. Do, 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 do. Find the sum. Zero plus zero equals zero. Three plus one equals no five. Four. That equals five. This equals three. This equals two. Oh, I'm so good. Did we just shoot? Oh. Oh. This is like aim labs. Oh, it. it, it. It, it, it just broke. Moshi Monsters. Also, this game isn't that old. One thing I want to preface is that I was born in 2004. That might be really young or really old, you know, depending on who you are. Most of the games you're going to see from here on out are going to be post-2000 or 2010. Except for one. You're going to want to stick around for that one at the end. I just wanted to revisit this, you know, for gits and shiggles. First off, choose your monster. We got Diablo. Lovely. Fur furry. Zom- oh, I thought that said Zoomer. Hop it or Katsuma. I think I gotta go with my boy Diablo. Username? Oh, that works. Parents email? We will. Yes, let me send this to my mother. Let's go. Let's go. Turtle always love her. I forgot what you can even do. First of all, I wanna do the most nostalgic thing. Uh, that being the only thing I remember from this game. If I can figure out how to get there. Oh, map. I think I wanna go to Ula Lane. Oh, this is exactly where I wanted to be. These are different people that are actually playing. Bad Gyal. Wait, what? Bad Gyal 2002? All right, let's 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 play some ice cream. Day one, start with these items. Uh, your target is turned 60 rocks. Sick. Ay, ay, ay. Uh, you want boom and then... Oh, my God. Eat that. Eat that. Come on. Come on. I can handle. Doom. 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 Give me your rocks. Give me your stupid rocks. Give me your money. Give me your money and leave. Oh, amazing today you're a gold employee dude i'm always a gold employee okay i'm gonna stop here because the rest of this is honestly just me getting those cold hard crystal rocks <sighs> but if you guys want to play i'll leave a link in the description you know just ask your parents for permission though and let's move on puzzle palace play the daily challenge to earn rocks and keep leveling up your monster uh let's do daily challenge also what is this ad go i don't remember how to do this what time is this why is the clock flipped hold on six it's seven uh, oh four. Why do they do this to me? My head. This is hard for me, dude. What color is not touching any any blue dot? Yellow. Which word can you make by rearranging these letters? Uh, fault. Which of the four red lines is the longest? Wait, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, a. I'm actually so slow. Oh, we leveled up. Oh, da okay, MJ. Goddamn. Bro, was hitting the gritty. And that was Moshi Monsters. I mean, great game overall. Probably give it like an eight out of ten. There was probably so much more I didn't explore, but uh, hey, that's that. And let's move on to the next game. Or should I say games? Do you guys remember that Cartoon Network would actually release games periodically based on what TV shows were airing at the time? Well, I played some of them. And let me tell you, some of them were good, but some of them did not age too well. Let's go through them. Game one. So the first game I played was from the kids next door and it's called Operation Startup. And I mean, this game has not aged well. It feels like I'm controlling a paraplegic kangaroo and then the background music is just repetitive. Frankly, the mechanics are abhorrent, but the game was also released in 2002 and is targeted towards kids. And I mean, kids are entertained by this nowadays. So uh, it doesn't even matter if it works as intended or even at all, kids will literally play anything. But hey, this show still slaps. Don't get me wrong. 
Next up, we have regular show Killer Z's. This story takes place inside Mordecai's mind while he's dreaming, and he's supposedly trying to beat Rigby's high score on this video game. I don't really know. But out of all the games I played on Cartoon Network, this one definitely has to be the most interesting slash well animated slash good game mechanics. It has this certain layer of polish that other Cartoon Network games don't. Or maybe I'm just biased because regular show is literally my favorite Cartoon Network show, but hey, I'd give this game a what out of 10. Adventure Time, the game where you punch fairies, use Jake as an AC-130, collect diamonds, and try to please hot goth girls. In all seriousness, this is one of the games that I actually remember very fondly. It's kind of one of those games where you just shut off your brain and play. It's visually and somehow mentally pleasing, pleasuring, st I don't know, stimulating to my brain. I'm pretty sure if I was 10 years younger and had more of a will to live, this game would actually be very fun and I would enjoy it. I mean, not that I didn't enjoy it now, it just got boring fast. That's about it. Next up, we got the Oregon Trail. Now, I just want to preface that we're going to be playing a different version of the Oregon Trail. I know there's the version from like 1974 or whatever. You know, the one that's actually like in my thumbnail. But somehow, I don't know why, I stumbled across this weird version of an Oregon Trail that was like hand drawn in MS Paint, it almost feels like. And I mean, I just got too attached to my characters. So that's the version we're going to play. So we started having to choose our profession. And of course, I say, I like math. I'm a banker. Yup, I like meth. And next up, we had to pick the people that were going to join us in our wagon. Of course, I went with me, Jose. And then I went with my wife, Betsy. And then my son, Dalton. And then you got to get Jimmy, you know, Jimmy McGill from, uh... And then we needed someone very skilled. So for our fifth person, we chose Dream. And then starting off, we have to buy some goods from the local town. And every time I play an old timey country game, I start to talk like this. So we start off with $1,600. And I don't know how much money that was back then, but we were about to spend racks and racks and racks on supplies. And just like that, we're off. We find our first river that we have to navigate across. And that wasn't too much of a problem considering I have godlike aim. It was smooth sailing. Dream's dead. Oh. Dream died. He got killed by typhoid. I don't even know what that is, but also I underestimated how far the next town would be. So uh, we had to kill one of our oxen for food. Wait, dreams alive. We accidentally buried him. What? Um, so the other oxen actually just died. And now this blonde chick is just pushing us to victory. We're moving at a mile per day. I don't know why any, we have five people in the wagon and only one person is pushing. What is this hierarchy that we have formed? Okay, we made it to store and now I've learned my lesson. I buy 11 oxen and we're off. And then our party gets chlamydia. Was this dream? Nothing really substantial happens from now on. I mean, we get robbed once, we find this rock, our wagon, got set on fire like twice. But then after that, it was smooth sailing. We made it to the end. I mean, it could have been worse. We could have gone gonorrhea instead of chlamydia. Uh, okay, and that's all I have left in me. I'm gonna go practice typing now. Uh, goodbye.